make brownies and I'm going to go through all the ingredients that you'll need in the order that you'll need them and I find it best to get them prepped and ready before I start it makes baking a lot easier though sometimes it can be a little bit more washing up as you can see because there's more bowls right to start you will need 100 grams of dark chocolate I've used chocolate chips but you can use uh, chocolate in a bar Next, you'll need 175 grams of butter. I've used salted butter, but you don't have to. You'll need three eggs, 250 grams of sugar. I've used caster, but light brown sugar works really well in brownies. You'll need 75 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of cocoa powder, a tablespoon or two, depending on how gooey you like your brownies, of golden syrup, and as an option, chopped nuts. These are actually almonds. I prefer hazelnuts, but I ran out of hazelnuts, so I'm using almonds today. But you'll want to chop them very finely so they don't all sink to the bottom of your brownie. You'll also need two bowls, one for mixing, one for sieving in your flour. A sieve, wooden spoon, a saucepan for melting your chocolate. And I've already greased and lined a dish but you can use a tin whatever you feel most comfortable with let's begin okay so you want to place your butter and your dark chocolate into a saucepan and melt not boil you don't want to boil it you just want to melt the butter so once the butter's fully melted take it off the heat give it a good stir and leave it to cool while we get on with the next step The next thing you'll want to do in preparation is to sieve together your cocoa powder and your flour into a bowl and set it aside so it's ready. Then chop your nuts if you're using them and put them to the side. Okay, so next you want to add your eggs to the bowl. And you want to whisk them up a little bit, then add the sugar and whisk again. You can do it using the wooden spoon, but for speed purposes, I'm going to use the whisk. Okay, so you whisk your eggs up, then add your sugar and it's a little harder to mix but it should be fluffy like so nice and fluffy there we go okay so next once this has cooled down you don't want to add hot chocolate to the eggs because you will end up with scrambled eggs you will pour this chocolate mixture into there whilst mixing Next, with your flour and cocoa powder that you've already sieved, you will fold this into this mix. So I'm going to get rid of the whisk. Right. Adding a little at a time. I'm going to fold this in. You don't want to lose any of the air from the eggs because that's going to help it rise. Right, now that I've incorporated and folded in all the flour, I'm going to add in the chopped nuts, which again are optional, and my golden syrup, 
I used about one and a half tablespoons, but you can just use one, or you can go the whole way and use two. And then I'm going to very carefully, again, not to lose the air from the eggs, fold that in. And then it's ready to go into the baking tin, or I'm using a Pyrex dish. And you bake for about 25 to 35 minutes. It depends on how gooey you want your brownies. Um, I usually do mine for about 30 in the middle, so about 30 minutes. And that's ready to go in. Okay, so this was actually baking for uh, 40 minutes because I've got to preheat my oven. Um, so it's all cooked now. So now I'm going to let it rest and sit. It's going to be really hard not to grab a spoon. Um, and I'm going to let it sit for about 20 to 25 minutes, possibly more, to cool completely before I slice it. Okay, so they have cooked completely and cooled not completely. I got a little impatient, so I have sliced them, put them here ready. They're cooling ready for when the family get home and a slice for me. As you can see, it's still nice and moist on the inside. Nobody likes a dry brownie. Um, I really, really hope that you in, enjoyed this video. Please comment below. Um, if you want to see any more videos, if there's a certain recipe that you want me to do for you, that would be great. Um, down below, also in the description box, I will leave the list of ingredients, plus the, hopefully, the link to my Instagram account. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.